Some call I'm regarding that so scary thing. Very sick, man. That's something you see in the war zone. Yeah, I bet you'd be uh, fascinated uh, what's going on in uh, Iraq and Syria, you know. Very, very sick, man. Very sick. Children shouldn't be seeing that. Very sick, okay? You're sick people. That's something you see in the war zone. War, war and horror is not good, okay? It's no fun to see, even though it's fake. You're sick. Sick people. What is your name, sir? Eli Kerr. And what should we call you? The creator? The inventor? <laughs> One of the founders of Slaughterhouse, I suppose. How many years have you been doing Slaughterhouse? This is our 12th year. All right, yeah. and can you tell me how did this start? How did, like, all of this start? <laughs> I, I'm a magician, and I, had, I traded a bunch of props for a bunch of really cool Hollywood casts of, like, pumpkin head and the predator and a 20 foot tall alien from the movie and stuff like that just a, a friend is collecting and so i ended up having it in my warehouse just because they were neat and a buddy of mine saw him one day and thought we should do a haunted house and he suggested it and so uh i thought about it for a little while and then there wasn't one in town for like two years and um so i decided to pitch it and we did it at the silver legacy the first year and it was a huge success and so after that the, the next year we moved it to the uh, convention center and then from there it went to the Silver Club and then in the mall and so we were there for quite a few years. And the hard part is getting a place to let you use our facility for a month and a half and have it be vacant and have enough space and so it's a really tough thing to bounce from venue to venue but we ended up in the ballpark called us about partnering and adding more events to the stadium uh, instead of just baseball and so we were one of the first groups to bring something in and so we were officially like the, uh, the biggest non-baseball attraction here. Um, which is great, and so we have a partnership with the ballpark now. First of all, you said last night you had a new title. Can you describe your new title? I'm Cat Herder. So my job is mostly to herd the crowd here. Um, all of our actors, all of our participants, the crowd that comes in, and it's a lot of work. What did you like? Classic. Classic, two in a row, look at that. Can you run me through through a typical night from picking up the sandwiches, whatever, hurting everybody till closing. <laughs> uh, typical day for me. Um, I show up here early. Um, the first thing I'll do is meet everybody. Um, I'll find managers, distribute the radios, wait for my security team to show up, send someone to pick up our food. But which one of those do I take? Which one of those do I take? Which one of those does she take? Um, then I'll walk the ballpark, make sure all of our stuff is turned on, or somebody's working on it, things are broken. Um, I'll help with them getting placed, getting put in makeup. Why aren't you makeup? I'm off. Pardon me. Sorry about this. They need you now, yeah. They need you like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> So how long have you been doing makeup for Slaughterhouse? Um, this is my second year doing it. And do you love it? It's pretty fun. It gets a little hectic every now and then, but it's fun. Now, are you into horror and... Oh, yes, definitely. Oh, yeah. And what, are, like, how is it different from doing somebody else's makeup? Like, like huh? makeup? Yeah. Honestly, you can just be more messier with it and it would still come out okay. A lot of my job is actually putting out little fires, drama. So, a lot of young people work here and they have bickering between each other. And so, I try to smooth that over the best I can, keep everybody happy so they stay and work for us. Um, take a lot of work there. Ah! Jesus Christ. You could like scream and you could like jump, try not to jump like that. That even yeah. scared me and the lights are yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, it's even crazier because then like you'll like pop up and be like, this is, I usually have a flashlight, it's weird, but like, so it's like, it gets really spooky in here. This is also Above the Grave, it's her show that she's going to work Oh, how cool! And then I'm going to give you guys all the raw footage too, so. How fun is that? Wow, what a treat to have you here, thank, thank you! you. What, yes. do, what do you do for... Oh gosh! Oh, I'm Eli's sister. So then I, um, whatever, she, oh, whatever. 
operations manager, <laughs> the whole shebang. Richard and I, we do anything under the sun, right? Whatever we gotta do. Yeah, whatever we gotta do. Build and it, yes. build it, tear it down. Yeah. Work with actors, peopling. Actor. Yeah, peopling. we get paid peopling. very well, right? <laughs> we get peopling. Oh, uh, that's the problem with being family. <laughs> <laughs> I do it for the love of my brother. No. Can you talk to me a little bit about the actors slash volunteers? How do, is there a recruitment process? Um, you know, a lot of it's word of mouth. Uh, we use Facebook, um, and then some Craigslist. But as the years have gone on, it's just them telling each other. Um, a big way is people go through the house. And I've had people go through the house as a customer, and when they come out the other end, they go back in as an actor. We'll sign them up right there and put you in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my name is Cody. Hi, Cody. How long have you been working with Slaughterhouse? Five years. Do you love it? I love it. What? How did you start? What made you want to come and do this? Mm, I just love horror. The fact of it, and we went in one day. And we just realized you could volunteer here. So I'm like, all right, I'll give it a try one night. Just sparked. I loved it. <laughs> so we want to be on camera. Where are you taking me, Andrew? I am taking you into Slaughterhouse. This is the haunted house. Where is the opening? Here it is. Okay. Don't get me laugh now. So this is the spider room. These are the cocoons of our victims. That's the big old scary spider. I have a question about, um, I was just asking about the recruitment process, how you guys get involved. How did you get Perfect involved? Perfect for these guys. Let me I was online. I've been in Carson for about three or four months. So I um, got online, started looking up, you know, haunted houses in Nevada area and Slaughterhouse popped up, so I emailed them, contacted them through the phone, and just basically, I kept bugging them because that's how you get a job. Um, and they messaged me back telling me when, when and where to show up for a sign up, and uh, after that, you just go up to anybody, your friends, family, anybody, if they wanna work it, just come on down and we'll, we're willing to take actors, so. Do you think you're gonna do it again? Yes. For sure? For sure. You're from Carson? No, I'm from Oklahoma. Oh. So. Uh, yes, I'm one of the actor coordinators here. And what is that exactly? Uh, so the actor coordinator's job is to basically have, we each have our own section of the house, and we have actors inside of those sections, and we take care of those actors, make sure they get breaks. We also make sure that those rooms that we take care of don't get damaged or anything like that. Um, it also implies that if one of the other actor managers isn't there, then that's my job to make sure that I do theirs as well. Um, or if anyone's missed, like our runner, if he's not there, then I'd be the runner too, you know general oh stuff God, like that. Ready, okay. You look great. I feel great. Okay. We have five minutes to play this. Okay, I will um, be right there, Katie. Are you in the office? Uh, then I will make sure my flyers, my flyer guys for promotions go out. Um, I'll, I'll deal with any radio stations or TV stations or reporters that show up. Um, I'll then go to the ticket booth, talk to the ticket booth, give them their radio, make sure they have everything they need for the night. And if they have any questions for me or anything like that. I'll be with Aces Management for the same kind of situation. Um, and then I'll open the house. So once the actors are in place, I go through and make sure they all know what they're doing. Okay, let's see what you've learned so far. Oh. Just like I'm a customer. Wait, I'm not really sure what I'm oh. I just came in, I'm a customer, what do you do? I'm not really sure. I'm still kind of confused. What you do is you press the button. Okay, so... Press the button. Press the button. As they come on the door shuts. So you stand quiet. Pretend this light is not on. You're not scared. Okay, be careful how loud you yell, don't hurt someone's ear, okay? okay. You don't want to do that. Okay. It's not necessarily about yelling in their face. It's so you could do, you know, more of, uh, I'm not really good as a most scary person, but you could just, just turn the light on a small yell. These ones you know you're there. Okay. Okay. Definitely don't scream in the ear. Okay. 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 Have them show me what they do, and then I run back up and I'll open the house and I'll run back through it again, let them know we're open and the next people are coming are customers.
What is it like working with all these kids? And it's great, you know, I think going into this we never knew what it would turn into as far as the people that are involved. We have some people that have been here for the last 12 years that keep coming back. And we have uh, a lot of the volunteers, they bring siblings. And so we have, you know, that were kids 12 years ago, like not even, hardly even alive sometimes, you know, just like three or four years old 12 years ago when we started. And their older brothers and sisters were actors. And so yeah, that's the really cool thing about it. And then um, we meet a lot of unique kids that want to come in and, and have fun and and it becomes a, a social thing for them and a way to uh, socialize and uh, hang out and some of them are very unique maybe they don't fit in and in their normal everyday life and in school and they come here and meet people with similar interests and we've had people get married that met here you know boyfriend and girlfriends and you know it's it's a really unique atmosphere for that and and the people that come in and, and, and do it they're really passionate about it Me, I scream at them as loud as I can. I turn around, I hide behind a sheet, come out and scare them. And then I go up to a window that has bars on it and I sit there and I just smile. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> then the customers start coming in. Once the customers start coming in, um, I have to watch the flow of the house to make sure that we're not letting them in too fast or too slow, and that it's not jamming up inside there, and they're getting good reactions from the actors. Got to make sure the actors don't get water. Sometimes they get hit. I have to deal with that with security. Sometimes we have medical emergencies, like we had last night, where a girl passes out. So I'll deal with that, and I'll have Renzo come and um, make sure that she gets medical attention that she needs. What is your name? Uh, my name is Brandon. And what is your title here? Um, I'm the head of security for Slaughterhouse. And what does the head of security do? Um, so my job is to make sure that all of my other security guards are doing their job, keeping everybody safe, uh, you know, if we have any security issues, um, any drunk people that come into the house, or it gets super crazy and exciting. Um, just pretty much, you know, safety is my number one priority here at, at Slaughterhouse. So. And what happens when uh, drunk people come in the house? So the first thing we try to do is we try to defuse the situation. We go and talk to them, make sure that they're, you know, stable, because we also want them having fun, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure that they're stable, go and, you know, on the train or through the house, and make sure that they're okay. Um, if not, then we have them sit down, kind of relax. If they get really super crazy, then we ask them to leave, just, just for the safety of other people, so. So I was told this is the first year of yeah. the Terror Train? Yeah, it was the first year we added the Terror Train. Uh, I bought a train for our other event, Winterfest, which takes place here as well. And yeah, it's new, we're breaking it in. There's great things about that I love that we'll keep. There's a lot of other ideas we want to add for next year. You have decided to board a Terror Train. Bye -bye. Whether that was a wise decision remains to be seen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As a reminder, please remain seated and keep all things inside the train cars. It's always heartbreaking in something new like that, especially of that nature. I mean, hauling 30 people around on a motorized train is you know, a lot of challenges inherent with that, but it's fun and I think it's a unique addition. Rather than just adding another haunted house that everyone mm -hmm. walks through, we keep adding areas, but we wanted that to be a part of the main attraction, uh, the, the walkthrough haunt. So that'll just keep getting bigger, but uh, now the train has a whole other uh, side to it, which is fun. After he mutilated his victim, set the house on fire before he was working for his next You're next! You're next! Now the story I was hearing on the train, did you guys come up with that? They did, it was the original concept. Uh, I think it was written by a guy named Jeremy. And um, uh, he developed it and they, they timed it out. He also does the Christmas stuff, so it's pretty cool. Who's narrating it? Jeremy. Jeremy uh, Trader. Exhausting all other possibilities, the doctors concluded it was somehow Robert's illness keeping him alive. Then, they tried the electric chair.
Yeah. Have you ever had to stop in the middle? We have. We do have to stop here once in a while. Normally, uh, normally we stop for. Um, you know, we've stopped for people throwing up in the house. They get you scared, people pee themselves, literally they do. So some people come out and say, oh, it scared the piss out of me, it really did. And we'll have to shut the house down and clean it up before we let people go in. Hey, look, they're <laughs> Not only that, it's basically rinse, wash, repeat for the entire night until uh, we get to closing. And the closing, I'll do the same thing. I'll go through the house, make sure the last customer's left. Once I've done that, I'll close tickets, um, send security home, close the house, send the actors up, do an actor meeting, let them know how well, good of a job they're done, give out prizes, send them home, go home, drink heavily. <laughs> Was there ever a year where you felt like, I don't want to do this anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Every year, right about now. <laughs> no, it's, it's an insane amount of work and lack of sleep and, you know, tons of money on the line, and so you know it's always a risk monetarily and and uh, work-wise. It, it's just so much work. But then after it's all over, you start to forget about that as the year goes, and then you get amped up about it. And then once it starts, you realize, oh yeah, this is a lot of work. And uh, so it's just kind of a vicious cycle that way. But. And can you tell me like one thing that you love about all this? Like the one thing that keeps you coming back? If you could pick one thing. Oh. If I could pick one thing, it would have to be the massive amount of memories that I've made here and just the good times with the peoples that I've dealt with. Like all the actors, they're just, the actors and management, I have such a good connection with all of them, I consider half of them to be my family. If you could pick one thing, what keeps you coming back? Screams. Fun. <laughs> just that. Plus my friends here. your first year? It's probably my second. So. Okay, and what brought you back? The scare. <laughs> I have the scare. So what did you think of it? It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> you, got, you got scared? Yeah, a little was, bit. Did anybody I got shocked. I mean, <laughs> it shocked me. Shocked me pretty good. <laughs> what did you think about the slaughterhouse? It was awesome. Very horrifying. Did you get scared? Okay. Hell yeah. What's the scariest part? The goddamn scary part. The dark part, goddamn it. Oh. It was all dark. And then somebody coming at me screaming. Goddamn it, it was terrifying. Good. Well, do me one more favor. Terrifying. Terrifying is perfect. Do me one more favor. I want you to look at the camera and tell people to come to the slaughterhouse, okay? All right, cool. Ready? Three, two, one. Come to fucking slaughterhouse. You can do it, bitch. I love that you're so good. Thank you so much. Let's give her one more round of applause. Yes, tomorrow and every day after today is Bring a Friend Day. So if you have a friend, bring them on down. We'll get them signed up. We'll love to add to them. And also remember, tomorrow is a, is a very important night. Not only are we starting at 9. But we are open until 1 o'clock in the morning because of Zombie Crawl. If you have ever worked with us before, you understand what Zombie Crawl is. Which means we need all of your guys' help. Bring anybody that you can. It's going to be a long night. It's going to be a busy night. So be prepared to have the best night that we ever have at Slaughterhouse. All right? Okay, with, with, uh, with Zombie Crawl, it's also, once again, a playoff game, right? Mm -hmm. So Justin's going to talk to you a little about what, what we got to do for the Aces tomorrow, okay? Just, just to recap, tomorrow's call time is 7 p.m. 7 p.m. We will. Nobody's allowed inside of the ballpark until that time. All right. We open at nine. If you guys are able to last this whole time, that'd be perfect. It will definitely be worth your while. All right. Other than that, don't forget to sign out to get your sticker for tonight. And also, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bring anybody that you guys can. No, I really want to see how you happy birthday to me. That's what I wanted. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you!